If you guys are looking for super cheap, fast, and reliable Madden 22 Ultimate Team coins, look no further than my sponsor, MuttReserve.com. They're super awesome to work with, and they have 24-7 support. Head over to MuttReserve.com and use code Poodle at checkout for 15% off your order. What's going on, everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Team video, guys, and I have a pretty exciting new Madden 22 news video going on here today, guys. We have a bunch of promo reveals that we didn't really expect, guys. Some animations to show you guys. Now... Obviously, we expect these promos to come. Some of them, most of them, right? But, or the weekly content, I should say, on some of them. But I didn't expect to see all this stuff as soon as it is. Shout out to Mutt Leaks for all this stuff, as per usual, guys. Gonna be pretty exciting, so stick throughout the video so you guys can see all this. Now, shout out to today's Poodle Squad member, Dave Burt. Shout out to you, man. Thank you. Appreciate the support each and every day. If you guys want to be shouted out in the Poodle Squad, all you gotta do is like the video, comment down below Poodle Squad, and you're pretty much entered to go. Also, guys, you guys went crazy yesterday. Thank you for support on the first day of Madden 22. The channel went crazy. Greatly appreciate you guys. We're super close to hitting our 23K goal already. I believe we're only about like 80 away. So if you're new, subscribe. Turn that notification bell so you get notified every time I post a video. There should be another five today, maybe four, depending on how the timing works. And yeah, if you guys need coins, remember, Mutt Reserve will be going live soon. So stay tuned for that. But let's get into this. So, first things first, guys, we have a few reveals to show. I'm going to take you guys over to the reveal screen to show you all the stuff that we did get. Now, for these promos, guys, I'm going to go over which ones are which ones are weekly, kind of how we usually expect these, and kind of how the system works with all these, so you guys can have a pretty good idea of how this works. If you have never played before, if you have played, you know what to do. Now, remember, this is the EA Access trial, so don't expect much this week. These will be the reveals for stuff coming probably within the first week or two, um, give or take. But all this stuff typically comes after launch, right? So let's go check that out. So I can go one by one and show you guys everything. So if you look at the screen here, this was tweeted out by Mutt Leak. So if you see this pack animation right here, this is going to be this year's high Madden 22 legend pack animation. So when you pull a legend in Madden 22, there's going to be the animation. I become a really big fan of these like graphics you know animations like this because like we yeah we've gotten big explosions big colors but we're done with that this reminds me kind of like how the combine promo we once we saw at least combine promo with the running and stuff i really like this that's really cool legends older players there it would be even cool if it were real players used but still very cool nonetheless i really like that so when you pull a high one like a full legend or a full a high set piece it is what it's going to actually look like now for you guys who've never played madden before the legends are pretty much every saturday for most of the year until Ultimate Legends, they're going to drop a set of Legend players, players who are retired, who were great in the game, or just at least good for the most part. There's been some Legends that are questionable to be in there sometimes, but for the most part, going to be players who play the game who are good or great, and we get them every Saturday. There's going to be Legend Fantasy Packs every Saturday, going to be some solo sometimes uh, for the power-ups. There's going to be sets, there's going to be LTDs. Should be a pretty fun time, unless they do it like last year. They did it a little different last year. It was okay. But yeah, this is going to be the Legend High Reveal. We have plenty more to show you, so make sure to stick around. Next, guys, we have the Legend Mids Reveal. So this is going to be when you pull, like, a lower Legend. These aren't full Legends. These are going to be the set pieces, the ones that you put into collection to make the full Legend. This will be, like, probably 84s and belows, maybe 85s and belows, depending on what, like, the, the threshold is this year for it. But nonetheless, that's going to be the low Legend. So when you just pull a decent Legend, you, you know, when you get this, you know that... I got a legend, but it's not the greatest. That's what's good about these animations. It gives you some excitement when you see the big one. You're like, it could be a full one. It could just be an 86, but it's going to be exciting. This one, modest at best. Guys, this is a pretty cool animation. So you see this big one that blows up over the screen. Kind of looks like some Euphoria level stuff there. That's going to be the signature series animation. Now, if you don't know what the signature series animation is, or signature series is, that's a promo that they drop once a week, typically. LTD cards. And it's going to be cards from teams. Um, last year, they had like a whole system with it in the last few years. It's been like divisional. So like they'll drop a defensive man, a defenseman and an offense from NF from the North or from like the Packers or whatever. But like, let's say it's the NFC North. They'd like a, def a defender like Eddie Jackson from the Bears and then or Aaron Rodgers as a QB offensive from the Packers. And then next week, go to another division, then another division, then another division. And go on and on. But pretty much, guys, it's like I think it was every Thursday and it's just LTDs. LTD cards, they're usually pretty good. I mean, we've had years where the LTDs kind of suck, like the weekly LTDs, they made them really trash. But then they've had years like last year where they were actually pretty good. So, Signature Series is usually pretty fun. Usually a nice surprise little weekly, not a surprise, but a nice little weekly drop where you get surprised with some players because obviously you don't know who's going to be, which division they're going to do. Except towards the end when you start to count it down, you're like, okay, I know what division we're at. But this is going to be the Signature Series animation now. So, right of the bunch, the Legend one's probably the coolest because it's animated, like uh, with people running. This, of course, this is animated too, don't, don't get me wrong. But this one is also cool. 
I just prefer. I think Legends are gonna be. I think Legends could be more fun this year, but uh, just because of um, ho I feel like they're redoing a lot of stuff that they've done bad in the past. I feel like they could. They're gonna change the way they do these up, and that's the most exciting part about this. We have the ultimate kickoff one now. This one's actually really, really cool, and I believe this is the high animation when you pull like a full ultimate kickoff card or a high one. Now, ultimate kickoff to put some, uh, give you guys some background on this. Ultimate kickoff is pretty much the promo that kicks off the Madden season and the football season, right? So. Superstar MVP should come before all this, obviously. So that's not going to be the first. This won't be the first promo of the year. But this will be the first promo of the NFL season. So pretty much, there'll be some players. I mean, there's been years where Ultimate Kickoff sucked, where they just dropped like four big players. Their sets were impossible to do. They were hard to get. The cards cost. The cards were expensive all year. Then there's been years where Ultimate Kickoff cards were like decent, and they weren't that expensive, and no one really wanted them. So hopefully they have like a nice mix of good players, as well as a price point where everyone can kind of enter at. But yeah, this animation is really cool. Actually, this one's going to compete with the Legends one for me. I like that blue. It looks kind of techy, digital, virtual to me. I, I like it. It looks really cool. Looks like Space Jam S there. I don't, I don't, I don't know. I like it. It's a cool animation. Again, I really think they're really upping their animation game this year. They were supposed to last year. If you guys that were watching the channel or any channel around last year, there was a lot of leaked pack animations, and a lot of those promos didn't come out, like the space promo. Um, one specifically, I think they had a big plan for animations, but the game was kind of dying off really early last year because of the way they handled it. So I think that they went ahead. And pretty much kind of dropped that game and saved all their effort for this one hopefully that was the case but again so far animation wise that they, they look pretty good they look pretty good guys so he actually just tweeted out the campus hero reveal as well this one's super awesome if i had to re-rank them this one would probably be in the top three at least maybe higher again i really did like a few of the other ones though, especially the legend one but this one's super cool exactly what a college football-esque animation should look like with the band playing the big celebration the crowd the fireworks all that stuff right super cool or confetti i should say i really like this one so campus here is another promo we do expect back this year now i don't expect it to be soon though now if it dropped early that'd be nice because the problem with campus heroes or the problem with last year right people say madden dropped so much content last year which is true but it was like it's like you ate mcdonald's right and you're full and they keep just shoving mcchickens and mcdoubles down your mouth like yeah it was good it was good and easy cheap food but then it's just like you're getting sick like they were just shoving quantity over quality all, all year last year was quantity over quality i don't care what anyone says there's been years with less promo like madden 20 had way less stuff madden 20 was one of the worst years in terms of like how lazy they were and stuff now madden 21 started off that way but then they started giving us all this content but yeah each promo had 55 players and i was like wait a second how not one of these are usable maybe one were so that was kind of annoying but yeah hopefully campus hero starts earlier because last year by the time they dropped campus heroes you couldn't even use any of them it was just like fun cards i want usable that, that's what was good about the old maddens like or a while back when you got this stuff they get every promo had a usable card like Campus Heroes drop and you want to use all of them, right? Nowadays, you're like, oh, those are cool names. Fun video. That's about it. But yeah, that's about it for this. So I'm going to put this into the current video. So you should be seeing this as well. Hey, guys, we have the Superstar MVP high pack animation. So this is going to be the pro promo you guys saw with Saquon Barkley and Michael Thomas and Scary Terry. These are going to be those cards, the green cards. These are the cards that come with the abilities. Now, this animation's cool. Again, first off, let me, let, me, let, me, let, me, let me preface this saying all the animations this year so far have been awesome. Out of all of them this might be my least favorite one because it, it seems kind of generic to me but it's cool like again an animation shaking the screen and doing all that that's still cool that's effort i like that they put effort into the game so do not take this as hate at all but if i have to rank them this one's probably my least favorite one or the um the signature series one i mean like i said i preface that with saying they're all amazing but i really like that legend one and i really like the open kickoff one i think those are super cool i think those are really awesome but this is cool i like this one it's just not my favorite of the four but Superstar MVP probably will be the first promo you guys really see. I mean, I'm pretty sure that one's going to launch like the 17th or the 20th. It usually drops like it drops launch night. Now, I'm not sure if they're going to do worldwide launch or just the worldwide early launch. Uh, so it could depend. But again, that's going to be a pretty cool one as well. And if you guys know what Mutt Leaks is, he's over on Twitter. So again, that's why it's important to have Twitter. A lot of Madden, like a, Twitter's like a tight knit Madden community of like just all the insider stuff you got to kind of know. People talking negative, positive, keeping up, glitches, everything you're going to see there first because YouTube, you got to edit, create and post. Twitter's just live, right? It's raw. So if you guys want to follow me over on Twitter, link will be down below in the description. As always, follow me there. You can always DM me there. And of course, if you follow me or you follow other, if you follow a few other YouTubers, you'll probably keep you kept up with everything between retweets, likes, and mentions, right? But guys, about it for the video. I'm pretty, pretty sure I covered almost everything I want to cover here. I'm excited. Now, in the order that you should see these, uh, more than likely, you'll see Superstar MVP probably... Now, I don't think they'll be doing Legends tomorrow, which is Saturday. So, I think you'll probably be seeing Super Saiyan MVPs at launch. Legends a few days after on the next Saturday. A Saturday from tomorrow would be like the 21st. So, you'll probably see Legends on the 21st. Or 
a Friday night reveal or one day early Friday drop, right? That just for the first legends, that'll be one thing. And then you'll probably end up seeing oh, so we're gonna get MVP. So then you'll probably see ultimate kickoff, and you'll probably see signature series shortly after that. Probably that's that's kind of the order and the goal I think they're probably going for. But yeah, hopefully you guys did enjoy. If you guys want to be shouted on today's Poodle Squad shout out, all you gotta do, like I said, is like the video and comment down below Poodle Squad. If you guys need coins, don't worry. The sponsors are getting ready to go. Just have code Poodle ready. And if you guys need any help with the site or anything, check that out. If you guys need any ebooks as well, head over to elitemadden.com, ran by a few Madden champions. I uh, have a code with them, so use code Poodle there as well to pick up some ebooks and get get competitive. Play some weekly, get some coins. And yeah, subscribe, turn on that notification bell, boys, and let's get to 23k as quickly as possible. Thank you for watching. I'm out. Peace.